So when we use the word positioning with relation to Visual Basic Code in Excel, what are we talking about? Well, positioning is going to enable you to control and move the selected cell around. And this is really important when you're trying to manipulate data in Excel. And that's what Visual Basic allows us to do. This video is the third of four videos about the basics of Visual Basic in Excel. So make sure you work through all of the videos. It's going to give you a really good foundation. Let's get into positioning. What I've created here is a simple sheet with some buttons on. And what we're going to do is uh, select this cell and these buttons are going to move the selection around. So if I use the cursors on the keyboard, that's me just pressing the right, the right cursor or the down cursor, we can do that using buttons as well. So the first thing I'm going to do is create um, the final button in this little set, set of buttons. So I'm going to click uh, with my finger on control there and just copying that button down. And then I'm using the Alt key which means that the buttons line up really nicely. Presentation is really important in your spreadsheet, so make sure things line up nicely. Using the Alt key when you're positioning buttons will allow you to do that. I'm just changing the text to down. Okay, so we're ready to go into the code now. We have all the buttons there ready to go. So, coding time. Let's go to Visual Basic, that's in the Developer tab and we just click on the Visual Basic icon. That takes us to the Visual Basic editor. I'm in module three now. I've got a module ready to go, and I'm gonna have to create four routines to do those positioning, uh, fulfill those positioning functions we were talking about. One routine to move up, one right, one down, and one left. Now we do this using a function in VBA, using a command in VBA rather, uh, which is called offset. Now you may be familiar with the offset formula and Excel likes using the word offset for moving away from a certain point. That's all offset is going to do. It will start at a certain point and the active cell will move away somewhere else. So let's start with a routine called move up. It's important that our routines always have informative names. And the command I'm going to use is selection and that means the cell that is currently selected selection dot offset and then I need two numbers or Excel is going to ask for two numbers. The first number relates to the number of rows to move up or down. A positive number will move down, a negative number will move up and the second number refers to how many columns to move across. A positive number will move right and a negative number will move left. Okay, it's important to remember that. Right, so if I try something like this, selection.offset negative one, zero, remember this number is gonna move up or down and down is a positive number. So a negative number is gonna move us up. So the result of this routine should be to move the selection up one cell. Okay, let's give it a go, see if it works. So I've gone back to the spreadsheet. I'm going to assign a macro to this button and I'm going to use the move up uh, macro here and let's click OK. So now the moment of truth, let's try it out, see if it works. My selection is here and move up should move it up one cell. OK, great, that seems to be working. I click the button and the selection goes up one cell. Excellent, so that's a good start, seems to be working well. But what about these other buttons? Can we create routines, the routines required to uh, move the cell right down and left. So let's go back to our Visual Basic editor. And can you remember our, one of our coding principles, which is we always recycle old code and then just tweak it to get, us, to get it to do what we want it to do. Okay, so I've copied that code and I'm going to uh, call this one move down. And then all I have to do is change these numbers to move the selection down one. Remember the first number controls the vertical offset and a positive number, a number above zero, is gonna move us down. We want to move down one, so that should be fine for moving down. Again, I'm gonna copy and paste the code. Whoops. Control C and down, Control V. And if I wanted to move right, can you remember what we have to do here? Would we want a positive or a negative number. Okay, so 
we're going to set this to zero. That's because we don't want to move down at all. We just want to move right. And we have a positive number hit. That means that we move right. So this should work well for move right. And again, I've just uh, pasted the code in to move left. Again, you should be thinking about how we do this. So move left is going to be zero, but we're moving left and a positive number will take us right. So we're going to go for minus one. Okay, so I'll just quickly sense check the code. That's always a good thing to do. And this looks okay. We've got all of our macros have informative names too, which means when we get to this stage and we're assigning the macros to buttons, we should be able to easily understand what these macros need to do. So that's the right move and the down. So I'm just going to assign the macros appropriately. And then we're moving left. Okay, excellent. So now we have uh, these four buttons up right, down, left, all have macros assigned to them that are using the offset command in Visual Basic. So the moment of truth, let's give it a go. So we're going to move up. That's working well. And then we're going to move right. That appears to be working well too. And then we're going to move down. That appears to be working well. And then we're going to move left. Okay, that's working well too. So let's just quickly go back to Visual Basic to understand what's going on. The most important thing is these numbers. So the first number relates to vertical movement, so that how, whether you're moving up or down in terms of rows. A positive number is going to move us down, a negative number will move us up. And then the second number refers to horizontal movement, so how many columns to move. A positive number will move columns to the right, a negative number will move col columns to the left. And that's the offset uh, command. It's one of the really important uh, Visual Basics commands. Okay, excellent. So that's basic positioning. I imagine you're thinking, well, but I would never want to do that. So um, that wouldn't be useful in my schoolwork or for a client. This is one of the building blocks. Um, being able to control position like this is going to help you manipulate data and do lots of other uh, time-consuming tasks, tasks and make them work really quickly. So just consider this a building block and further down the line in your Excel learning, things will come together. Okay, I will see you in the fourth and final video on the basics of Visual Basic.